don't with me and my potter. <gasps> you will get a spell cast on you. Will. And here we go. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Geneva. I'm Zara. And finally, Pitch Meeting has released. My son Leo is here too. Let's forget about that. Leo. <laughs> yes. And finally, Pitch Meeting has released Goblet of Fire. Ah! Moment of silence. That's it. <laughs> Which happens to be my least favorite <gasps> Harry Potter movie. I don't know. I know. I know. <laughs> Her favorite one. My least favorite one. I know. It was. I'm gonna get emotional because, bruh, that's when. If you haven't seen it, you should just watch it ten years ago. Cedric Diggory dies, and that's when the Dark Lord comes back. He's returned. Dark Lord has returned. Uh, yes, we know Harry had the worst haircut of his entire years. That's period. True. But it was so good. We got to watch the other wizards. Fuck. No! I'm gonna lash out now. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah. I like this. I love Goblet of Fire. So today we're gonna be watching Pitch Meeting, which is basically this guy named Ryan talking his little version of him summarizing um, or pitching, you know, Harry Potter Goblet of Fire to his employees. Basically. That's it's gonna what I make think. a smile. Yeah. Basically. Alright, if you did like this video, please give us a like, comment, subscribe, and please tell us what you want us to watch in the next videos. As well as punch the notification bell. Beep! And let's get to it. So, you have that new Harry Potter movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Wow, so what's going on with the characters? No. Well, I'll tell you, sir, no. all the guy characters decided it's time to have long hair <laughs> for a year. <laughs> uh, okay, that's kind of random. A little bit. Is that the only thing going on this year, or? Nope, there's more, actually. So Harry and Hermione and the Weasleys are gonna go to this thing called the Quidditch World Cup. Okay. And they're also going with Arthur Weasley's co-worker and his son, Cedric Diggory. How were we introduced to him? Just the normal way, you know, he suddenly drops out of a tree. <laughs> that's not normal. Normal. Sure it is. So they head to the World Cup and there are a ton of wizards there. Very cool. Wow, I can't wait to see what the Quidditch World Cup is like. Right? Sounds super cool, doesn't it? So then we're gonna cut to right after it's all done. Oh. And the event's gonna get attacked by oh some Death God. Eaters and Harry's gonna get knocked unconscious. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, and so later he wakes up and everything's been like burned to like the ground and he's the last one there. Oh Not a God. single person saw him there and he wasn't affected by the fire or smoke. That's right, what yeah. we're going with. And then this no Death Eater Barty Crouch Jr. shows up and shoots a dark mark into the sky. Oh, very ominous. Anyway, so eventually Harry goes back to Hogwarts and Dumbledore gives his annual he speech about all the it. ways the kids might die this year. As is tradition, sure. So what's going on this year? Well, this year Hogwarts has been chosen to host something called the Triwizard Tournament. And what's that? It's this big competition between three wizarding schools, so a bunch of people from these two other schools it. come in and do little dances <laughs> for some reason. Oh, that's that. fun. So to have a chance at being chosen, you need to be at least 17 and you need to put your yeah. name in something <laughs> called the Goblet of Fire, and only one wizard per school can be chosen. Okay. And once the three names are chosen, somehow there's a fourth name, and it's Harry Potter. Wait, so are the students from the other schools just gonna live at Hogwarts now? Yes. Even the ones that weren't chosen? Yeah, they're all just gonna kind of live there for a year. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> weird. Even... No, it's yeah. not. So then Dumbledore runs up to Harry and shakes him like crazy and says, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Oh, that doesn't really sound like Dumbledore. Wrong. Isn't he more calm and collected? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good point. Well, I'm profoundly angry inside all the time, so maybe I project it onto him a little bit. <laughs> you should maybe see somebody about that. No! Alright. So anyway, this is a super dangerous tournament, and if you're chosen, you're magically bound to compete. What does that mean? You have to do it. Right, but what happens if you don't do it? I don't know, I guess you die or something, right? That seems to be the implication. <laughs> Why would this be a thing? Well, sir, they really want to know which school has the best wizard child, so death's got to be on the table here. Oh my god. So throughout the year, Harry's got to figure out what these three events are going to be and how he should prepare. Got it. And freaking Draco Malfoy's gonna drop out of a tree and make Everyone's fun of them. Why is everyone up in trees? So they can jump drop out of them at the starts of conversations. But so anyway, then this new teacher, Mad Eye Moody, pops oh, out and like confronts him. Malfoy, turns him into a ferret. Why is he so called Mad Eye Moody? Part. Well, one of his eyes is magic and zooms in like a camera lens and goes, <laughs> <laughs> is it magic? Why is it making mechanical lens noises? Unclear. But anyway, at the end of the movie, there's gonna be a big reveal where Mad Eye Moody was actually that Barty Crouch Jr. guy the whole time taking Polyjuice potions. 
potion. Oh, very twisty. Extremely, sir. So for the first event, Harry's got to steal an egg from dragon. a dragon. Oh, boy. But this thing breaks loose from its chain and chases Harry around Hogwarts. Wow, so I guess the teachers must intervene, huh? A dragon is loose on school grounds. <laughs> now they just kind of watch. That checks <laughs> out, actually. Bill's that seems on brand for them. And then once parent. he gets the egg, he's got to go listen to it underwater oh, while a ghost <laughs> tries to look at his wiener. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> to the next competition. He's got to go underwater for an extended I period love of scene. time. Oh, how come? Well, because see, the organizers have kidnapped people that the champions care about. I so, like, Ron and Hermione are there. There's the eight-year-old sister of one of them. Underwater. Get tied up underwater. So Harry saves the life of Ron, but also of the eight-year-old girl Dumbledore's. since her big sister got eliminated. Oh, wow. So, obviously, Dumbledore gives him some extra points for bravery because he does that any chance he gets. Wait, yeah. so they just kidnap some kids against their will and put them underwater and we're going to let them drown if the champions fail yeah. the task. Yeah. That little girl would have drowned to death if Harry hadn't saved her. Yeah, because like I said, they gotta know I'll which young wizard is the best young wizard. So yeah, yeah she would have drowned. This, <laughs> man, I, wizards are not okay people, I think. Anyway, everybody in the stands goes nuts, obviously. What were they watching the whole time? Just the lake? Yeah, they were staring at a lake for an hour, so that's a fun activity. <laughs> There's no TV watch. or staring anything. Staring at lakes tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the next event gonna be? They're all gonna stare at some hedges. Thrilling. Amazing. Yeah, the final challenge is this giant hedge maze to find the Triwizard Cup, yeah, but it grabs these. you with its plantiness, so it's very scary. Man, Hogwarts just has the most violent vegetation. It sure does, sir. So then Harry and Cedric grab the cup at the exact same time, but it was a port key and it teleports them Get to a graveyard. To spooky. Very spooky, <laughs> sir. And then Wormtail's gonna pop out with a little baby Voldemort oh, baby and kill Voldy. Cedric. You know, I'm oh, actually Voldy. shocked it's taken four years for a kid to die. So it turns out Barty Crouch Jr. planned this whole thing because they needed a bit of Harry's blood to bring Voldemort back to life. He taught a class for a full year to get a couple of drops of blood. Yeah, and put his name in the Goblet of Fire and kind of laid out the path for him to be the one to touch the port key. That's, he could have just pricked him with a needle and then ran away. Yeah, but that'd make for a very, very quick movie. So he's gonna go with this overly complicated <laughs> plan that makes it more exciting. I guess. So anyway, then Voldemort gets a full body again. Mm. Uh-oh. Yeah, except for the nose. That doesn't grow in for some reason. Maybe he's a late bloomer. Maybe it'll grow in later. It won't. So now Voldemort wants to kill Harry. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to survive an encounter with the it's Dark kind of Lord. Sneaky. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because he gets some help from a couple of friendly ghosts. Oh. Do these ones try to look at his wiener? No, these ghosts ah! are his parents' ghosts. And also, Cedric is a ghost, and he's pretty Take chill about back. being dead. Or ghost yeah. back up. Yeah, and so then Harry's able to grab the port key and go back to the tournament. Well, good thing it was a two-way port key. It worked out pretty well, sir. So then everybody's in shock that Cedric is dead, and Harry Bad takes boy! off with Mad Eye Moody. And does Harry figure out that it's not the real Mad Eye Moody? He nope. does. And then this guy recaps the entire school year for so long that Dumbledore and some teachers have time to bust in and help Harry. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, and then coincidentally, at that very moment, his Polyjuice potion runs out. Fantastic dramatic potion timing. Definitely. So what do you think? Well, it sounds like a great Harry Potter movie, you know. Thank you. I just feel kind of bad for whatever actor's gonna play that Cedric Diggory character, you know. In all probability, that'll be the biggest role of his career. Yeah, yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> I love Hi that. Hi guys. Yay! Whee! Okay. I loved it. Ten out of ten. I just love Goblet of Fire. That was like my favorite movie, next to Half Blood and uh, Deathly Hallows. That was it. Yeah. See, I'm more of Prison uh, Preserve Azkaban, Half Blood Prince. Mm. Order of the Phoenix, too, but mm. the others, too. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. They're all good, yeah. but yeah, Half-Blood was mine. <clears throat> I just loved it. It was just nice. I do think that Ron pulled off this long hair, but everybody else. Mm, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it was definitely when I saw it in the theaters, I was like, Harry doesn't really look good with long hair. Sorry. Yeah. But that year, long hair was, like, in, I think. I guess yeah. so. I was like, or it wasn't my school. Yeah. But then I'm glad they cut it in... Uh, Order the Phoenix. Yeah, they needed to chop it. Yeah, they. Mm. There you go. Mm. I liked it. Ten out of ten. Can I wait for Order the Phoenix? That's when things um, go to. That's when it starts getting dark. Yeah. That's when it starts getting like more adulty. Yeah, it goes to yeah. the shiz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Shiz. The shiz. Yeah, that's right. Shiz. Leo, something to say. My boy! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. If you like this video, please give us a like. Comment, subscribe, as well as punching that notification bell. Beep. And we'll see y'all the next time. Ta ta for now. Bye. What do I say?
Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Hey channel, I'm Steve. <coughs> I'm Deliva. I'm Zara. Yes, this is Goblet of Fire. Yes. Yes, sir. Is it Goblet of Fire? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the fourth one? Yeah. Okay. Don't with me with my potter. <gasps> you will get a spell cast on you. You will. Alright, well, you guys already been rolling. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Oopsies, the threats, hey, <laughs> the threats were not real. The threats were not real. Just witty banter. 